What's up guys, hope you're all well and safe. Welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this video, we're gonna talk about a very handy export feature in Premiere. Now, I'm presuming that you won't be just uploading the videos on Instagram or Facebook one-off, and there's something that you are gonna be doing on a frequent basis. So, obviously, you wouldn't wanna spend time on export settings every single time you wanna export a video. So, let's first look at this video that I have here on my timeline, and say that I wanna upload this on my Instagram account. So. I'm gonna go in my export window and I can do that simply by using my keyboard shortcuts which is command M or control M if you're in Windows. And then over here, I'm gonna make some changes to the bitrate settings and we'll first of all change it to VBR2. And we'll then increase the target bitrate as well as my maximum bitrate. And then I'm gonna tick this box that says use maximum render quality option. Now, because this is not the only time when I'm exporting a video for Instagram, and I will be doing this quite frequently, so I can create a preset for this, and it is going to save me a lot of time. Now, in order to create a preset, what I need to do is that once I have made all my settings, I can click on this icon over here, and just select a name for my preset, which in this case will be, let's say, Instagram, and then it's all done. Now the next time I want to export a video for Instagram, I won't have to go through all these settings again. And I can just select this preset from the drop down over here and that will be it. So guys, this is how you can create an export preset and save some time. And I mean, you can have as many presets as you need. I mean, you can have a preset for YouTube. I mean, I don't think you need a preset for YouTube because I mean, there's already one built in over there. But I mean, you can have one for Instagram, you can have for TikTok, and I mean, it, it's really up to you how many presets you want. So guys, that's really it for now. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to drop those in the comment section and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. I'm now gonna see you in the next video. So till then, you take care of yourself.